You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it is popcorn time. I am going to use this Canyon Popcorn Maker from Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus, the greatest show on earth. Bring the circus home, which I'm going to do for you today. Now let me turn to the side panel here. Oh, and by the way, thanks for stopping by today and watching this video. I really appreciate it. Okay, so there is a two-piece set. So it looks like you get a big bucket, the cannon, and then, of course, I have to supply the tasty snack, which is popcorn kernels. And I thought I would do the red popcorn kernels that I showed in a previous video. I thought red would look good with this one. Since there's so much red on the box, all right, here there is a picture of some clowns down there. So if you're terrified of clowns, I will show it just so you can see the clowns, not to terrify you in any way. And then there's some text here. Let's see. The Ringling Brothers Cannon Popcorn Maker brings the circus home. Enjoy a healthy, delicious snack with the entire family. Just add kernels and flip on the switch. Now that is convenient. That's what I'm going to do. Once the popcorn is ready, the cannon will shoot out the snack to be caught with the included bucket. Popping 8 to 10 cups of popcorn per batch. It's great for birthdays, parties, movie nights, and more. And for videos, that's what I'm using it for. And there is the back of the box. Ooh, there's more text down there. Let me get down there. All right, so what does it say? It says, the greatest show on earth. Since its first show in 1871, imagine that. The spirit of artists performing in the greatest show on earth has fascinated onlookers and established the foundation for success of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey, the all-live spectacular performance full of comedy, excitement, thrills, chills, suspense, and the harmonious interaction of humans and animals. Bring people back time and time again. Ringling Brothers is America's living national treasure and is the only show business phenomenon to run in three consecutive centuries. Imagine that, a long time. All right, so when I come back then, I will have this out of the box. I'll probably wash what I need to wash so I can get started right away. Uh, we'll see. Let me get out of the box and we'll check out all the pieces. All right, I was taken out of the box. I thought, well, that's a cool way to keep the packaging down. There was styrofoam inside and out that actually protected the machine. Here is my owner's manual. So that's why I stopped in my tracks and said, let's check it out slowly here. Here is the measuring cup. So I don't know, maybe a third of a cup. We'll have to see. And then, well, I guess it doesn't matter. That's the one they give me. That's the one I'm going to use. And then look at the container now for holding your popcorn. It's pretty big. This stands probably 10 inches tall. Now, the front lip is probably as high as you can go, maybe angled up. But it needs that height in case the popcorn, like, shoots out, I guess. For some reason, I'm not picturing it, like, shooting across, like, putting it here and just... That would be cool, though. All right, it says Ringling Brothers and Barman Bailey, the greatest show on earth. You got nice little stars and almost like flames, but not flames. You know what I mean? You've seen these on those cannons. And the wheels, let's see, the wheels don't spin. Here's our on off switch, of course, our power cable. Let's take a look at it a little bit more, a little bit closer. It's still, it's a pretty neat looking popcorn maker, isn't it? It's a neat idea. How well it's going to shoot. We will find out. I like the little stars and the accents on the wheels. So I would say overall, it's a pretty cool design. Wouldn't you think so? All right, when I come back then, I will have the popcorn. Maybe I'll have something to drink. I didn't bring in anything last time, but maybe this time I will. So I'll be right back and we'll continue on. All right, all set. This is the popcorn I'm going to use. Now I did the uh, black kernel version. This one is the red kernel version. And then I brought in a measuring cup. I'm guessing... Boy, it almost looks like a quarter cup. Let's just see. Let's get this. Let's get this going here. And then let's. Uh, well, let me put it in here first. And then we'll get an idea. So this is one quarter cup. Okay. So what do you think? It's pretty close. I might be able to squeeze a little bit more in there for your popping enjoyment. All right. So then let's put this in. Turn this on. It's plugged in. And we are set. Didn't say to warm it up or anything. Let's see if that's a good angle. How about that? Yeah, let's look at it. All right, here we go. Let's let this batch pop. I'll make another one for you after this. But let's see how this goes. quick. 
back. A few little kernels popped already. Oh, steam on the camera. pretty cool. Check that out. So it is kind of like puffing it out. Some of them are shooting it in the back. All right, so popping has stopped. Let's see what we got in regards to any kernels on the bottom. Oh, it's starting to get a little hot in there. Maybe a couple little burnt kernels on the bottom. All right, so let me get set up. I'll make another batch. I got to get those out and then... Uh, I'll come back. I think I'm going to butter that and then start a second batch. All right, so I've warmed up some butter here. I figure I'll just put a little bit on this layer here. You know I like a lot of butter and salt, but I'll put three little scoops on. Okay. And then some salt. Now this has a lot of salt holes in it, so I'll just gently put that on there. Now I can mix this up. That's really nice about this container. It's really nice for mixing. All right, so let's get... The next batch going here. And that went pretty quick. Now here is what I had on the bottom that was stuck. Now I kind of like the taste of those for whatever reason. I don't know why. I always have got the camera much higher. So hopefully a little further away you could see it on the inside. How's that? And then I'm going to bring in my elephant mug, which I got from the circus last year, was it? I totally forgot. Either way, I also found this nice, cool Coca-Cola for the Olympics. Thought, why not bring it all in right now? Hopefully it doesn't steam up my lens. So I'm going to back it up just a little. All right, so I guess I'll pop the two batches and then I'll come back and taste it with you. It just don't, sounds so sharp and crispy. Oops. This thing must have one of those heat sensors on it. Let me unplug it and then uh, do it again. Well, guess what? My popcorn popper does not work. At first I thought it was the unit. Then I thought it was my power supply, which it wasn't. Then I went back to the instructions and it did say allow 15 minutes between batches. Now it's been sitting for a good half hour and it does not turn on anymore. The light goes on, but it does not make popcorn. So unfortunately, this video is done. But the good news is we saw it work and then I do have some to taste here, but I do want to add a little bit more butter now that I'm all done here. And then a little bit more salt. What do you think? Why not? And then I'll just sit back with my elephant from the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. I push that up. All right, now let's give it a taste. Let's see if it's crunchy. Now it's been sitting for a half an hour now, so. Mmm, it's still crunchy. Mmm, and it's good. Well, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. We'll see. If I can get it to work, I'll come back at a later day and maybe retry it. I'm just hoping one time I turn it on and it goes back on, but I don't think so. All right, well, there you go. That is another popcorn popper for you. And as always, I'll have a link in the description where you can check out other food makers like this, popcorn poppers. And thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop and the channel and giving the videos a thumbs up. Sometimes, I guess, just things work out that way and there's not much you could do about it. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.